Keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Slides are made for Anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review. We have four main tissue types in the body. We have epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissues, and nervous tissues. The whole entire body can be broken down into these four tissue types. So let's review what is epithelia. Epithelia, by definition, has to be on the surface. And it's going to be lining something. Okay, It's, it's a layer lining something. This la layer of tissue are made of cells that are very close together. There are no holes or gaps in between them. There are no blood vessels in epithelial tissue. And we name epithelial tissue two ways. The first part of the name is describing the number of layers of cells. The second part of the name describes the shape of the cells. So for example, if it is only one cell layer thick, then we call it simple epithelium. If it's more than one cell layer thick, then we call it stratified epithelium. And the second part of the name is often on the shape of the cell. If the cell is squished, SQ for squish, SQ for squamous, then we call it squamous epithelium. If the cell is more square, that is the height is equal to the width, then we call it cuboidal. And if the cell is rectangular, that is the height is about the same, it's much taller, I'm sorry, if the height is much taller than the width, then that's columnar. So here we're talking about stratified squamous epithelium. Now I know in your lab packet, all you have to know is stratified squamous epithelium. But you should understand that in real life, it comes in two types, non-keratinized and keratinized. Okay, stratified squamous epithelium would be the skin. If it is keratinized, as in this section of slides, it means that on top of the uh, stratified squamous epithelium, you have this layer of dead squamous cells. How do I know it's dead? Because there are no nuclei remaining. If it is non-keratinized, as in this example on this side, there are no keratin layer on top. This is what we see in moist areas like the mouth, the vagina, the anus, this is what we see in the dry skin area. The thicker the keratin, the more wear and tear usually. So for example, the sole of the feet will have very thick keratin. Here's, <coughs> see, see. Here's a comparison between uh, the non-keratin versus the keratin. Okay, this is the keratinized stratified squamous. This is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Another way to look at the keratin is sometimes it seems to be kind of flaking off. Okay, this layer up here, flaking off, that would be keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So this picture explains what's happening. You have healthy cells here on the bottom by the basement membrane. As they start to grow, it's going to be pushed on top. As they get pushed on top, they start to flatten out to become real squamous cell looking. And then as they start to die, the nucleus will disappear. And eventually, all the nuclei will be gone, and all remains is just the keratin layer, which is dead squamous cells. So once again, this picture you saw already, the thick layer of keratin in real life versus in picture drawing. So here's an example. All of this is stratified squamous epithelium. Okay, This is the keratin layer of dead cells on top. So this is what makes this whole thing keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Here's another look. The whole thing is stratified squamous epithelium. But once you see this layer up on top with no nucleus and it's starting to kind of flake off, that's keratin. Once you see keratin, you know you're dealing with stratified squamous epithelium and this is dry skin area. Because the keratin is not very thick here, this is probably maybe skin on the arm or on your stomach or on your thigh. It doesn't have a whole lot of wear and tear. 
So that's why the, the keratin is not very thick. Here you can easily see the keratin layer. And once you see that, it gives it away that all of this is stratified squamous epithelium, dry skin area. Very thick keratin layer. This gives it away that all of this is stratified squamous epithelium. Remember, only stratified squamous epithelium will have the keratin layer if it's dry skin. No other epithelial tissue will have keratin. Another look, all of this is keratin. This whole thing, if I was to ask you to name this tissue, you would say keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. If I asked you to name this cell, you would say squamous cell. If I asked you for a location, if you see this with the keratin, you've got to give me a location of dry skin. Even on low power, I hope you can still see this is stratified squamous epithelium, and this is the keratin on top. This is really prominent keratin. The, the stratified squamous epithelium, living cells are down here, and everything from here on up, all of this is dead cells, okay, keratinized. Little bit of keratin on top here. All of this, therefore, is stratified squamous epithelium. Keratin, stratified squamous epithelium. Keratin, Stratify squamous epithelium. Okay.